Porsche here with another video. This video, I will be unboxing and showing you all how my new Bartesian works. Actually, it's not really new. I got it for my birthday, but I decided not to pull it out until we moved into the new house. So, we're here, and my mini bar is all set up in my beauty room. So I have decided to finally use the Bartesian. I wanted us to experience the Bartesian together. I wanted to give a real, raw, honest review on it. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, we love you here. Thank you for watching again. As always, please subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another post from me. Like, comment below what you thought of this video. I am extremely excited to do this video. Not only do I love cocktails, mixed drinks, but this video was highly requested. It's been highly requested since I posted this Bartesian on my story on my birthday in August, 2021. So here we are, January, 2022, and it's finally time to use it. I am super excited. So let me show you all the setup. I have a rum, a whiskey glass, a vodka, and a tequila. So for whiskey, I purchased Crown Royal. For tequila, I got Don Julio. For rum, I got Bacardi. And for vodka, I got Tito's. That's just a little information for those of you that needed a little input or a little assistance with choosing the alcohol that you could place into the glass jars. All right, so here's my Bartesian minus the glass jars and here's my alcohol here so right now i'm just going to put the alcohol into the jars oh and i also got this little shaker from bartesian as well um so i'm just going to put the alcohol in the glass jars and i'm going to show you all how it looks So this is how the machine looks with the alcohol in it. The machine does come with a power cord. You plug it into the wall and then it goes into the back of the Bartesian. And before I forget to let you know, Bartesian calls these spirit jars or spirit bottles. And it actually comes with five However, only four fit into the machine. You can put either a gin or a rum into this one. And as you see there, it says gin or rum. I don't drink gin, so um, of course I did a white rum. So on the Bartesian site, they have different kits that represent the drinks that you can make using the Bartesian. I have three of these. So the cocktails that are included in this particular set, Long Island iced tea, Cosmopolitan, Uptown Rocks, Whiskey Sour, Margarita, and Old Fashioned. So I got four pods out because I couldn't choose which one I wanted to do. So I think we're gonna try two drinks. So how about a Margarita and a Long Island iced tea. On each particular pod, it does show you what the ingredients are best paired with. And on here, it shows you the kind of tequila that it's best with, but you can use whatever tequila you have at home or whatever your favorite tequila is, of course, which is what I chose to do. And let me add that Bartesian has 
a large selection of cocktails. My husband purchased three of these, but I do plan to get a lot more pods uh, in the near future because I want to try a drink that they have called Rum Breeze, and they have a bunch of different um, cocktails to choose from. So I would like to eventually try them all. For those of you that would like to know how the other pods taste, I will do an updated video on my favorite drinks uh, by the Bartesian and uh, drinks that I didn't particularly like and why. So that video will be coming um, as soon as I get a chance to taste all of the other pods that they have. So on the back of the machine is this compartment that says water only. So I just remove this off of here and I'm going to put some water in it. I washed it out. I washed out all of the glass jars as well because, you know, I just wanted to make sure that um, the drinks are clean and, you know, all the equipment is clean um, before I used it. And I'm just going to pop it back down here. But wait, are you subscribed? So go ahead, I'll wait, subscribe. And boom, welcome to the family. All right, so we cut the machine on by just lifting this up, lifting it back down. It says, insert your capsule and close the lid. We're gonna do a margarita first. So we're gonna lift this up and it does stay up to make it easier. And another thing that I forgot to mention on each pod, there's a barcode, and that's what the machine reads to let you know which spirit will be used. So, I'm going to pop this in, and this little flap right here goes on the outside. Pop it down. Boom. It says, oh, this is so cool. It says, place a low ball glass with ice under the dispenser. Okay, let me get some ice. Oh, y'all, I got some bougie ice. Let me show y'all. So, y'all, look at these. I can always count on my mom to buy me bougie things like this. So, these are ice trays. And this ice looks like this. This tray looks like this. And this tray came out a little shaky, but it's like a circular looking ice cube. All right, so we did what it said, place a low ball glass with ice under the dispenser. So this is considered a low ball glass or margarita glass, but for some drinks, it requires the shaker. So I would put the shaker under here instead of the low ball glass and shake it up and then pour it into my glass. Now, let's hit next. Oh, they have a mocktail option, a light, a regular, and a strong option. So let's just do regular. And then we're going to do mix. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, y'all. Uh-oh. Oh, and as you can see, the tequila was used. It bubbled up. So add some tequila in there. Cheers. Open the lid and remove the capsule. Boom. So let's remove that. It used everything out of it. And like the machine says, cheers. Let's taste the margarita. It's strong. It's real strong, but it tastes good, but it's a really strong, y'all. So. And it's cold. I don't think I put enough ice in it. So I feel like the back part that says water only, I feel like you should put cold water in there like I did. Um, and your drinks will come out cold if you like a cold cocktail. But this is really good. I like it. 
I actually, I love this. It's lit. It's lit. This is only regular. Like, if it's this strong, regular, I might need to try that Long Island on light. For those of you that like a strong drink, regular will get you right. For someone that does not like a strong alcohol taste in your drinks, you'll definitely want to go with the light option. Um, but this is actually perfect for me. If I did the um, if I did the heavy alcohol option, it'll be too way too strong for me. I can pretty much see myself using the regular option for all of my drinks. But I'm going to try light to see if I think it's called light. I'm going to try the lighter alcohol option to see if it's strong as well. So, but this is good. I'll be drinking this for sure. All right, so we got our Long Island Pod, our barcode. Oh, it also has a sleep setting on there, but we're going to open it up again. And it does drip a little bit, but the excess is caught down here. So you could just wash this out after every use. Outside flap. So this flap here is on the outside. You have to use a little bit of force uh, to put it down. Next has ROM been installed? Yes. Next. Okay, y'all, I'm scared, so we're gonna do light, period. Oh. And as you see, the ROM got to bubbling. That's so fancy. All right, let's taste this one. And cheers again. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so perfect. Y'all. Perfect amount of alcohol, perfect amount of whatever else was in the little pod. They did this. They did this. I have only tasted two of the six drinks and I would highly recommend both of them. I would use both the light alcohol option and the regular alcohol option. I don't think I'll ever use the heavy alcohol option because I don't like my alcohol to be overpowering in a drink. So I'll probably only use the light and the regular option. But for those of you that do like a really, really strong drink, you can try heavy, but I feel like it's going to be even too much for most people that do like a really, really strong drink. So I highly recommend the Bartesian. I highly recommend this um, set that I got. Again, I will show you. And again, the set I got is the Classic Collection. I highly recommend this based off just the two drinks that I've tried. It They both were really good, have a really good taste to them. So I'm excited to try the rest of them. I will do an updated video on the different um, drinks that I do like by Bartesian. If you have a Bartesian and you're um, wanting to buy a specific cocktail, but you're not sure how it'll taste and you want to know before you spend your money on it, drop it in the comments. Let me know which one it is and I'll purchase it for you and let you know how it tastes. I'll give you an honest review, of course. And yeah, I'm happy. Y'all happy? Good. Y'all subscribed? Good. Those of you that would like to purchase a Bartesian, you can get it from the Bartesian website, which I will link in the description box, but you can also get it from um, Amazon for sure, because that's where I got mine. I got mine from Amazon, um, but I got my actual pods from Bartesian.com. So um, Amazon for sure has it. I've heard that Walmart has the Bartesian, but I haven't personally seen it myself. So I'm not too sure about that, but I will link the Bartesian on Amazon and Bartesian.com. I will let you know, it is a bit pricey. I have the exact price right here, um, but they can be a little pricey, uh, especially if you're wanting to try 
a bunch of different capsules. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. The support, the love is overwhelming. I can't thank you all enough.